Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to install w WSL, uh, a VS Code extension, to access the WSL in our Windows uh, host. Uh, I'm going to use this extension because I'm going to develop mostly either in the in the WSL Linux or using Docker. So this time, I'm going to install WSL VS Code extension so I can code uh, using with the Windows tools in the Linux environment. So basically what I'm going to do right now is uh, uh, download the extension WSL and, and then I'm going to make modification on the WSL uh, directory like a simple file and then I'm going to check is, is the file is there or not through the WSL console in the Windows terminal. So let's get started. First, I want to make sure that uh, the certain directory does not is is empty, does not have any file. Let's start Windows Terminal, and then I'm gonna uh, open the Ubuntu WSL. I've already made video about this, so maybe if you want to know how to start Windows Terminal and access WSL, you can watch the video. Okay, now start Windows Terminal. Start window. Term, Windows terminal comma Windows ter, desktop list Windows ter, loading complete. I missed Closing type too fast. Loading oh. unknown. Start terminal. I, F, terminal comma app one of one level one. App ter, and so unknown Windows terminal terminal Windows PowerShell Windows PowerShell terminal black. Now Windows PowerShell control plus shift plus one. Com, at git bash con, Ubuntu dash twenty point zero four con, Ubuntu control plus shift plus six six of nine. This is Ubuntu. Enter. I have two installation Ubuntu installation the same version Ubuntu version I'm gonna use the Ubuntu Ubuntu dash 20 point Ubuntu control plus shift plus six six Ubuntu presenter Ubuntu terminal blank waiting for the WSL command as administrator left paren user quote root quote right paren presenter whisker at WSC colon tilde dollar okay. that's the prompt as usual I'm going to change the prompt to make it faster because I'm a screen reader user uh, it's gonna save a lot of time uh, to change the from is by typing ps1 PS one. One PS1 one equals let's say one. I want you to you you Ubuntu now the promise you would do now uh where are we I'm gonna type uh current directory D slash home slash whisker Ubuntu oh so I'm the I'm at the slash home slash whisker I'll check the file with the slash home slash whisker ls dash q q Ubuntu to. All right, there's no file here. Okay, let's try to make a file. Uh, we're going to make a file from the uh, PS code after we install the WSL. I already opened VS code. I'm going to the PS code. I'll type to Go to the other application. Untitled dash one dash test dash repo. Untitled dash one dash test dash repo dash one dash Visual Studio Code. Now we are in the Visual Studio Code. Now I'm going to go to search for WSL Face Code extension. Pressing Control Shift X. Search extensions in Marketplace Editor has auto complete multi line blank. Blank. Now I'm going to type WSL. WSL. Wait. Twenty two extensions found in the Marketplace section. Dot. I'll press, uh, make sure we are in the focus mode. Focus mode. Now press tab. WSL, extensions list. This is extension list. Use up or down arrow to navigate through the extension list. WSL, comma, 0 0.72.0, comma, publisher Microsoft, comma, open any folder. Now we are looking the, uh, with an extension with the name WSL with the publisher Microsoft. This this is the extension. I will type uh, uh look for the install button. Change to browse mode. Now 
Press tab toolbar. Install button. Install button. Now press enter. Installing extension WSL started. Dot. An editor is now open with more details on this extension. Installing extension WSL is completed. Dot. Extension colon WSL dash test dash repo dash one dash Visual Studio Code document unknown. Is completed. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to turn off to shut down the VS Code. So basically, we already installed WSL extension. There are, I, I think there are three ways, as I remember there are three ways to access the file in the WSL using VS Code. But uh, I'm, I'm just going to cover two ways here. The first one is by opening the VS Code from the uh, WSL terminal. That's number one. And the number two is accessing via Windows Explorer uh, or maybe and the next one is open uh, directly from the VS code but usually I open I open VS code using Windows terminal or other kind of terminal so I usually access first with the terminal and then I type code and then space dot that allows me to like make files or something like that because i always have terminal open for my uh, operation during development now i'm going to close down vs code whisker at wsc colon tilde ubuntu terminal whisker at wsc colon tilde ubuntu well as you heard we are in the ubuntu terminal there is uh, nothing here in this uh, directory now i'm going to open vs code from this ubuntu terminal once again i'm going to uh, uh call what's directory we're in D. ewd press enter press enter slash home slash whisker slash home slash home slash whisker the directory is slash home slash whisker now open vs code by typing code space Dot. Oh, code space space dot. dot. Read again. Ubuntu code dot. Code dot. dot. Press enter. Installing VS Code Server for x64 left paren 62610756464F055 B99068D3. Now it's installing VS Code Server. So the uh, our VS Code can communicate the with the VS Code Server that resides in the WSL Ubuntu. Now it's downloading at the moment. I'm going to read the line. Downloading colon 65%. 65%. We are going to wait because I don't think this is going to take long. Now press uh, num at 8 again to read the current line. Downloading colon 97%. 100%. 100%. 100 17%. 1 Visual Studio Code. Application. Info colon, starting VS code in WSL left paren, Ubuntu right paren, colon, starting Linux subsystem. Info colon, starting VS code in WSL left paren, Ubuntu right paren, colon, connecting to server dot dot dot. Info colon, starting VS code in WSL left paren, Ubuntu clickable application clickable. So now our VS code already open with accessing the WSL. I'm going to read the title by pressing NVDA key plus T as in Tango. Get started dash whisker left bracket WSL colon Ubuntu right bracket dash Visual Studio code. Now we are at the uh, uh, get started page. Now press tab. I want to, to look around by pressing tab. Application. Info. Do you trust the authors of the files in oh, this, this folder is, question? This is the notification sometimes. Uh, not sometimes. I think in this newer version, when I open a, direct, a new directory, it's going to ask us whether we, we are... Uh, trust this the, the author of this directory i'm going to find press tab to find the button to say yes yes comma i trust yes, the author trust the main landmark overview of how to get up to speed with your editor dot okay. blank now i'm going to make file like let's say text file with the name uh uh, uh apple now i'm going to make a new file 
by uh, Alt. File submenu Alt plus F1. File. Array. Press down arrow. New text file control plus NN1 of 22. New text file. Main landmark. Untitled dash one editor has auto complete multi line blank. This is untitled as one. I'm gonna type Apple. A B L E. And then I save it. Apple. Type to narrow down results dot. Dash save as combo box has auto complete editable. Press tick enter tick to confirm your input or tick escape tick to cancel selected Apple. Nine results. Save. Apple. .txt slash home slash whisker slash apple dot text slash home slash whiskers whiskers slash apple dot text I'm gonna read again by pressing number eight eight slash home slash whisker slash apple dot text now press enter text application main landmark apple dot text editor has auto complete multi line all right I think it has been saved now I'm going to switch to uh, Ubuntu terminal to check if the file is there. Uh, I'll tap whisker at WSC colon tilde Ubuntu terminal whisker at WSC. This is Ubuntu terminal. I going to list the space. This is their file here by pressing LS dash key. The previous check that we did, it doesn't, this folder doesn't have any file. Type LS uh, dash key Q LS dash queen Q queen as in queen Apple dot text Ubuntu. There Apple text and the content is apple.txt press enter uh, it doesn't say anything now press numpad 8 apple ubuntu apple ubuntu so the content is apple so there you go that's how to open the uh, uh vs code through the terminal now i'm gonna try the second way by using Windows Explorer. Now Apple close the VS Code. Whisker at WSC colon tilde one of two. I am pressing Alt tab to find Apple VS Code. Whisker left bracket WSL colon Ubuntu right bracket dash Whisker at WSC colon tilde one of two. Apple dot text dash Whisker left bracket WSL colon Ubuntu right bracket dash Visual Studio Code two Apple dot text dash with Studio Code. Press Alt F four. Whisker at WSC colon tilde. It's already closed. Now I'm going to open windows explorer by pressing window plus e as in uh e elon or il file explorer items view list folders explorer. grouping expanded De now i'm going to press multiple uh, tabs multiple times to find the file tree status bar step up and toolbar address colon quick search edit search window tree view Quick access tree view. One of five level. This is that I'm looking for is tree view. Now I'm going to press down arrow multiple times to find Linux. Level two downloads documents pictures music file uploaded video set level one. This PC level two documents downloads music collapse pictures videos collapse OS left level one network collapsed for Linux collapsed five of five level this one. This is Linux. Press right arrow to expand. Expanded two items. Press down arrow. Level two Ubuntu collapsed one of two. This is Ubuntu, the other one. Ubuntu dash 20.04 collapse 2 of 2 level 2. I, we made changes on the Ubuntu, not Ubuntu 20.04. Now the Ubuntu. Ubuntu collapsed 1 of 2 level 2. Press right arrow to expand. Expanded. 17 items. Now. Level 3 boot. Dev collapsed 2 of 7, etc. Collapsed 3 of 17 level. Home. home collapsed 4 of 17 level Start 3. Arrow. This is home. Right arrow to expand. Expanded. 1 items. And whisker. Press down arrow. Level 4 whisker collapsed 1 of 1. Whisker. Now press enter and then we go to the uh, list item. Press enter and press tab. Items view list. Dot landscape not selected one of nine. Item view list. Now I'm gonna press down arrow to check to check the list of the this folder. Dot visco dash server two of nine. Dot visco dot server. This is the install of VS visco server VS code server. When we access the Ubuntu terminal. Dot bash line history three of nine. This is bash line history. Dot bash line logout forum. Dot bash five of nine. Let, let's look for Apple. Dot MODD line shown. Dot profile seven of nine. Dot ugit dash HSTSA. Apple dot text nine of nine. This is Apple dot text. This is the one that we made changes. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to open the uh, directory context. Okay, that that the that, that, that context that means we have to go up. Items view list. Whisker one. This is whisker. Go uh go up is by pressing Alt and 
plus uh, app arrow. Date modified edit whisker one of one. This is whisker. Now I'm going to open directory context because when I installed VS Code, I checklist the options to show VS Code in the directory context. Press uh, right click if you use pointer or uh, either pointing device or if you use keyboard. I think most of you use keyboard because we are screen reader users. Uh, there's button to show the context, usually on the right hand side, at right, the right part from the space bar at the bottom. Uh, I cannot explain because it's different between computers, but usually based on the laptops that I use, it is usually on the right part from the space bar. We have to press two buttons. One is the con the right control and one the other modifier button. I'm going to show the context menu. Context menu. Just press down arrow to check to check for VS Code. Open O. Open in new window E. Pin to quick access. Open in terminal T. Git bash here S. Open with code I. Scan with Microsoft Defender dot dot dot. Restore previous versions V. Scan. Shred. Pin to start P. Copy as path A. Send to submenu N. Cut T. Copy C. Create shortcut S. Delete D. Rename M. Open O. Open in new window E. Pin to quick access. Open in terminal T. Git bash here S. Open with code I. Oh, this is open with code. Press enter. Home. Visual Studio Code. Document. Application. Info colon. When working on folders in backslash backslash WSL comma, we recommend to use a WSL window dot. In a WSL window comma, all commands comma, extensions, and the terminal run in the Linux subsystem dot. To switch to a WSL window comma, use reopen folder in WSL dot. Info do you trust the authors of the files in this folder question? Yes. Dial, get started dash uh, whisker it, dash visual studio code document blank. Yes, it's open, uh, it's now open the folder. Uh, but it asks us again, do we trust the author or not? Now I'm going to press, Application. Uh, yes, comma, yes, I trust the author's trust space folder well. and space. Main landmark, whisker dash visual studio. We are back in the visual studio code. I'm going to show you by opening the apple.txt. Now I'm going to open the file explorer. We are in the VS code right now. Open the file explorer by pressing hard key, shift control E. Application, files explorer tree view. Press down arrow. Level one dot bash dot dot bash dot bash dot bash dot mod dot profile dot get dash apple.txt nine of nine level one. Apple.txt. So there you go. We already installed WSL uh, VS Code extension and we access that file uh, by opening VS Code either from Ubuntu Terminal or from the Windows Explorer. This is useful. Okay, see you later, guys. Thank you.